Hi, my name is Elias Kinaser, and the following demonstration is from my Citrix Zen Desktop 5 training course. All right, so from a log off behavior perspective, and we're going to cover this once we get in and start actually doing this stuff. The log off behavior in Zen Desktop 5 has changed. With Zen Desktop 4, it was in a GUI, you know, you would right click, go there, and you say, hey, I don't want you to restart every time the user logs off. Well, by default, the log off behavior of a virtual machine when a user logs off of it is for that virtual machine to reboot, discard all the changes, and voila, it gives them a fresh machine every time they log in. Now, depending on the scenario, that might be annoying, right? So if you're in testing or you're in a POC or you're just in an environment where you don't want that virtual machine to reboot for whatever reason, it's a little difficult to do it in Zendesk.5. Well, I, I shouldn't say difficult, but you would have to go through an extra step, which is to use PowerShell to actually change the behavior of, of log off. So what we're going to do when we start doing the exercise is we're going to go through the, ac the activity of actually changing the log off behavior from the default, which is to reboot, to log off and just not do anything basically. So we're going to issue a bunch of commands there um, that I've noted on the screen here for you, just in case you wanted to, to make take a note of how you would do this. And we're going to execute this when we start doing the exercise. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and switch over to the PowerShell tab so that we can modify the log off behavior of our virtual machine. So by default, the log off behavior is set so that virtual machines reboot as soon as a user logs off of that session. So in order to change that from log off to basically not log off, leave the session as is or leave the virtual machine as is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch the PowerShell. And then what we're going to do is we're going to load the Citrix module that's responsible for that behavior. And to do that, we are going to issue the command as follows. I'm going to click enter to execute it. Now, because I've added this uh, module or because I've loaded this module before, the error is basically saying that it cannot add it because it's already added. So we're going to ignore this since I've done this many times. It's already loaded for me. I'm going to ignore it. But just in case you needed to load this particular module, you can issue that command at this point. Now, the second thing we're going to do is, hey, before you can set this log off behavior, you have to know where you're setting it against. So you have to figure out which desktop group you want to set the log off behavior against because this setting is specific to a desktop group because you might want a specific desktop group to have its machines rebooting. Another desktop group, you might not want that. So we are going to issue a command to give us a list of the different desktop groups that are available. And to do that, what we're going to do is issue the following command. which returns a list of the different groups that are available for our use. And you'll notice that in my case, I have Windows 7 Accounting, and we also have Windows 7 Marketing. Now, to that extent, what we're going to do is issue the command that will actually disable the virtual machines that are members of the Windows 7 Marketing from rebooting. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to change where it says desktop group name. We're going to change that to the actual name of the group that we want to disable the reboot on. In my case, that group is going to be Windows 7 Marketing. And you'll notice that it has the dash shutdown desktop after use false, which means it's not going to reboot the virtual machine after a user logs off. Now to execute, we're going to hit enter and see what happens. And voila. Now at this point, any member of the desktop group Windows 7 marketing, the virtual machines that are a member of that desktop group will not reboot when the user logs off. Now if you wanted to change this behavior back to the default behavior, you can issue the same command, but instead of doing false, you're going to do true. And voila, now you just set it back to the default behavior. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.